karma stinks. <laughs> Only figures it right after I launch a, uh, a video on how to read manuals. I uh, <clears throat> would have done very well to perhaps read this particular one again. Uh, all right, so it's probably been 40 years since I've actually really read it, uh, the DDT User's Guide, because if we look down here around, I don't know, page 11 or so, on how the trace command works... Yada, 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 trace one command or N commands, and you get going down here, blah, 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 blah. If you read this paragraph right here, <laughs> it might tell us why I'm getting the weird behavior when I turn on the interrupts from the VDP, but do not enable them while I'm tracing with DDT. Because when I'm tracing, Program's running in trace mode, execute very slow, obviously, because it's printing and things like that. Because DDT gets control after each one of the individual user uh, instructions is executed. Interrupt processing routines can be traced, but, and they should maybe bold that. <laughs> it must be noted that the commands which use the breakpoint facility, like T, <laughs> accomplish the break using Restart 7, which I knew. Okay, but it also means that the tested program cannot use this interrupt location. I'm okay with that as well. Further, and this is where uh, <clears throat> it gets interesting, the trace mode always runs the tested program with interrupts enabled, which may cause problems if async interrupts are received during tracing. Ah, okay. So why? <laughs> uh, that explains the VDP problem and restart seven in particular, because as I explained earlier, during the interrupt acknowledgement phase, when we're receiving an interrupt from the VDP, the VDP does not do any form of acknowledgement. The retro BIOS, because it doesn't do anything with interrupts at all until DDT decides to get in the way. Um, is running in mode zero, okay? Which means the pull-up resistors on the data bus make the data bus see all FF during the interrupt acknowledgement cycle, which is treated as an instruction, and the restart instruction opcode is FF, and therefore it causes the CPU to call the restart seven instruction handler, which is what DDT is using for its tracing. And obviously that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's where the CPU goes. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if DDT has uh, a handler in there that gets a little confused because it wakes up when it's not supposed to. And, uh, you know, so thus we end up in a situation we're in. So that's that. <laughs> Always go back and read the manual. Yeah, I obviously TLDR'd this 24-pager uh, before I uh, <clears throat> uh, decided to use it. I think it's time for me to go back maybe and reread all of the CPM manuals. I mean, I know I did 40 years ago, but maybe I forgot something. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to make sure everybody knew this because... It's just made no sense otherwise. This explains it all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>